This is the Kevin Jack Show, and this is your stimulus check update and daily news report for Monday, January the 25th. Now, CBS News reports support for another stimulus package may gain steam given several developments that point to widening economic distress as the pandemic worsens. According to Ed Mills, an analyst with investment bank Raymond James, a weaker outlook for the labor market with a bigger than expected 1 million jobless claims during the first week of January, as well as a record number of COVID-19 deaths and infections could push lawmakers to support Mr. Biden's plan for an additional stimulus, analysts say. Now, on that topic, I think that it's it's highly likely that it's going to take a couple of months for the next payment to come through. Now, we have already found out that it's not going to be an additional $2,000. For those of you who were thinking that, I'm sorry, but it's going to be $1,400 to top off the a $600 that went out in late December, early January. That gets you to that $2,000 mark. Um, that should be the same for your dependents as well. But in terms of the timeline, I think with those articles of impeachment coming across an impeachment trial looming, you're going to see a delay in everything being able to get through the House and then eventually pass to the Senate and then get signed off on the president's desk. Now, with that said, I feel I still think the the money mark on this is going to be March. Now, the big thing and the major question is, can people take uh, being in distress that long? Now, of course, from the initial $1,200 payments that went out in late March, early April to those $600 payments, you had a long time that passed. And so even if you got that $600 for most people, it just wasn't it wasn't enough. It was too much time in between. So I think right now legislators are in a in between a rock and a hard place for the simple fact that this legislation has to go through quickly but you want it to be as effective as possible right and now you have to deal with another another aspect of this and i don't think a lot of people are giving you know much credence to this but i'm thinking about it all the time so you have basically a senate that's 50 50 with the democrats holding you know the deciding vote that's going to hold things up because you know in order to have a super majority you're going to need 60 um in terms of you know those votes and not the 50 so that means you're going to have to have 10 republicans decide to side with the democrats i don't think that's going to happen especially in the environment that we're in i just don't see that happening i think what we are going to see is you're going to see this bill get trimmed down you may see some you know some more pork be added to it but you're going to see it get trimmed down and i think it's going to come down maybe to 1.5 trillion uh, I doubt it comes down to one trillion. I really can't see that happening, but I think they're going to shave a little bit, um, a little bit of that cash off just to make those Republican legislators happy. Now, in terms of why, why Americans really need this now, those jobless reports, that's just, it's just simply amazing. I mean, at this point, as Americans, we were already broke. And the, someone said it best that, you know, the corporations, they live bailout to bailout and the citizens, we live st stimulus to stimulus. And I kind of agree with that. And so you have basically one trillion in auto debt, one point six trillion in student loan debt. And you have all of this credit card debt that is also looming out there. Now, the one key thing that we've covered on this channel is that that student loan debt is going to be paused. So some people can forget about that for now. But as far as the credit card debt is concerned, and then the automotive debt, that that's really, really going to be a problem. And I think with the jobless numbers continuing to rise, we're going to see that it's going to be when the rubber meets the road that debt is going to be a problem so debt is an american issue it seems like we love to buy things that we can't afford but hey maybe this time around we will learn our lessons so in terms of how the stimulus check will help right so already uh president biden has put into put into practice some legislation that hopes to to aid us getting out of the uh, pandemic but also extending some of the eviction more the moratoriums and being able to do some things on that end that kind of stays off uh some of these things from happening but 
in terms of where we're headed i think it's kind of gloomy i hate to be gloomy on this channel but i always want to keep it real with you guys but in terms of stimulus i think it's going to get here two months i think no no earlier than two months hey and we may even see it push into april now originally I, I said i didn't think that would happen but i think with the climate that we're in now when it comes to them really getting down to discussing this bill you're going to see all the partisan bickering you know start to come out again right now we're probably in you know one of the most divided periods in time uh that we've ever seen and so i think in terms of how that affects people getting payments it's going to slow it down it's already you know a bureaucratic mess but you know this is this is just going to make it even worse so while i wish i could bring you some good news in terms of that timeline i think the earliest that we're going to see that is march really i would look for it about the same time as the stimulus checks went out last year and that's going to be about april now um nancy pelosi has said that she's going to be trying to push uh this legislation through the house this week now we will see if she stands by her word and if that really happens but i just can't see it it's just too too many things coming up too fast you have so many different piece of pieces of legislation so many committees who have to discuss different aspects that i just don't see it realistically happening so um in terms of your update look for that stimulus check to come in my opinion um in april i'm gonna push that to april i did originally say that it would be march the 22nd on a couple videos back but i don't think that's the case anymore i think that it's going to be a little bit of time before we see this legislation get pushed through now as i always like to say once you go check you never go back thanks for tuning in to the kevin jack show and i will see you guys soon peace